Hello, today I'm going to show you how to set up Google Authorship on your WordPress blog. Okay, so what is Google Authorship? Well, when you do various Google searches now, um, Google looks at who wrote the particular blog or article that you're searching for. And if they've set up authorship, they may have some additional information come up in the Google search results. So if you search for, say, how to set up WordPress, and you scroll down, what catches your eye is this guy right here because it has this picture and it says how to install WordPress on your site. Now in my opinion that makes people a lot more likely to click on your uh, your particular page because they see that it was written by a real guy and they can see your face and you know pictures are always going to sell it better than something without a picture. So you want to set up Google authorship to give yourself a chance for that picture to come up in here. Um, doing so is, is pretty easy. I'm going to show you how to do that. First of all what you're going to do is you're going to log into your Google Plus account you do have to have a Google Plus account because that's where it pulls your lovely face from. So what you're going to do is you're going to log into your Google Plus, you're going to click on Profile, and then Edit Profile. And right down here it's going to say Contributor To and Links. So you need to fill out one of these places to have a link to your website put in. So I'm going to put in WordPress Tutorials as my link name. I'm going to put a link in there. So that's step one. So step one is putting a link to your blog or WordPress site in your Google Plus uh, account. And that's all you need to do on this side, except that you need to go up here to the URL at the top and you need to copy everything. Now you need to copy, not necessarily the end, but everything from this big long chain of numbers, which is your user ID, all the way to the front. Just go ahead and right click copy. Again, that's from the end of that long trail of numbers all the way to the beginning. And now what we're going to do is log into your WordPress site, which for me is wordpressguides.co, and you're going to go to your users tab, you're going to click on your username, and you're going to scroll down here to where it should say Google Plus. And we're going to paste that uh, link in there. Now you do need to take out this one little segment here. So the information that's between the plus.google.com and your user number, which in my case says u slash four slash, I'm going to take that out. So now it just says plus.google.com slash my number. And then I'm going to click save. Okay, now to test that it's working, what you can do is I'm going to go to just the post that I've written. I'm going to view this post. I'm going to uh, copy the URL at the top, and then you're going to go to uh, Google and type in Rich Snippet Tool. First thing that comes up is this link, google.com slash webmaster slash tool slash rich snippets. Go ahead and click on that. And you're going to paste your link in here to the structured data testing tool and click preview. And it's going to show you the way that that should look approximately if it came up in Google search results including your authorship. So if you see your picture here, good job. If you don't see your picture here, something's wrong. Um, now there's two, like I said, there's only two things to do to set up this uh, Google authorship. It's, it's either you're linking wrong to your blog in your Google Plus account or you're, something's messed up with your theme and it's not putting that information uh, out in your heading files. If you want to inspect your site you can do that in Google Chrome really easily by just right clicking and choosing inspect element and you can browse through the code of your site you're going to look in the head section and you're going to look for a spot up here that says link rel equals author href equals and then this should be a link to your Google Plus account so if you click that it should bring up your Google Plus account if it doesn't something's wrong maybe you pasted in the wrong link to your Google Plus account um, if you don't see this uh, line in your theme at all something's wrong with your theme and you need to uh, either do a little bit of research while your themes uh, not posting that properly or hire somebody uh, to fix it anyway that is how you set up Google authorship yeah, it's highly recommended definitely makes your uh, search results a little bit more clickable and uh, go do it now. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go ahead and click like, and then click the link below to sign up for our newsletter where we'll send you guides, reviews, and how-tos directly to you, as well as our free guide on how to make money with your WordPress site.